commemorating 2611 Mumbai terror attack, 10 Pakistani terrorists launched the most brazen attack on November 26, 2008, across multiple locations in India's financial capital, Mumbai. The targets have been carefully selected two hotels, a train station, a cafe, and a local Jewish community center. Armed with high-powered AK-47 rifles and grenades, the terrorists succeeded in killing 165 innocent persons, including 26 nationals from 15 countries around the world, and severely injuring another 304. Investigations revealed that the terrorists, including Mohammed Ajamal Kassab, who was arrested by police, were trained at various locations in Pakistan, including Lashkar-e Taiba terrorist training camp in Mordecai, Pakistan. Investigators also revealed that not only was the attack planned and launched from Pakistan, but it was also directed in real time by senior LET functionaries, including its chief commander, Zaki Rahman Lukvi in Pakistan. Two Canadian nationals, Dr. Mike Stewart Moss and his partner Elizabeth Russell, had been employed with Richardson Hospital Centre in Montreal, were killed in the attack. A number of Canadians were also injured. Montreal-based actor and director Michael Rudder suffered three gunshot wounds. Helen Connolly, a yoga instructor from Markham, Ontario, sustained bullet injury. And Raynor Burke from Toronto narrowly saved his life by escaping from a broken window. Other Canadians were caught up in locations of the attack, including Manuela Testellini, an ex-wife of pop star Prince, and middle-aged Canadian couple Larry and Bernie who barricaded themselves in their hotel room to escape the terrorists. There were still others who were indirectly affected, such as Satinder Bui from Surrey, BC, whose 21-year-old niece, Jasmine Burji, worked as a trainee manager at Taj Hotel, was killed in cold blood by terrorists. The sheer scope of violence in this terrorist attack was reminiscent of 9-11 attack in New York City. The vicious terrorist attack, however, also brought forward tales of heroism. In contrast to the mindless targeting of innocents by the terrorists, the employees of the iconic Taj Hotel escorted people through the corridors to safety. Telephone operators who had escaped returned to help the guests. The Hotel Taj General Manager Karambir Singh Kang also stayed on to help in evacuate the guests, even though he knew his wife and children were among those dead in the hotel. Even as 12 years have gone by, Pakistan has failed to take any tangible action against the culprits who roam freely in Pakistan and have continued their reign of terror. Once the pressure subsided, Pakistan has soft-pedaled on prosecution over the last 12 years. Judges hearing the case have changed, resulting in delays. One of the prosecution consuls was assassinated in 2013. Consuls have also been removed by the Pakistan government from time to time. This is in sharp contrast to convicting within two months those who helped in tracing Osama bin Laden. Pakistan did not even ban LET until February 2018, and that too was done under pressure of Financial Action Task Force, FATF. Pakistan's failure to pursue the case is a sign of complicity as well as bad faith. This is despite various bilateral, international and multilateral commitments made by Pakistan which obligate Pakistan to act against terrorism eliminating from its soil. It is a matter of deep anguish that even after 12 years of this heinous terror attack, the families of 166 victims from 15 countries across the globe still await closure. Pakistan needs to do more.